Welcome to season one of the Happy You, Happy Kids podcast. I'm Beverly Denshin from Angelic Lifestyle, author, founder of the Happy Kids cast, to bring you angel therapy plus sports science plus Bev magic to live happily ever after. I really look forward to bringing you tips, meditations for more happiness and inspiration, both for you, your mental health and your family every single week to help you with the toolbox to live happily ever after. A big welcome to this week, Happy You, Happy Kids podcast. It's all about gratitude this week and wanted to share with you how to go on a gratitude walk, which is a really, really easy, simple, but very, very life enhancing, beautiful thing to do. So obviously going to be sharing you with you a positive affirmation card message of the week, how to go on a gratitude work walk. (laughs) And also, of course, always there will be a meditation relaxation for you. This week, of course, is going to be a gratitude meditation for you. So what are you grateful for this week? What are you grateful for in your life? What are you grateful for in your work? So today's positive affirmation card message from my deck of Happy Kids cards, 52 card deck. They come in a beautiful cotton bag, lovely printed bag. So the first message I've got for you today is thank you. Think of something you are grateful and happy about today. So what might be really nice is wherever you're listening, whether you're cooking, walking, (laughs) cleaning the house, whatever you're doing, taking some time out, then have a think about what you're grateful for right now in your life. Maybe you think of one thing or you might want to go for it and think of three things or even more. It's up to you. Um, I'm actually really grateful. I watched the final of the football with with, uh, England and Italy playing yesterday. It was um, so nice to do something different and to watch some sport and have some family time with my son. Um, it was very intense, the penalty shootout, but it was exciting, it was social, it was nice to be supportive of your home country and um, bond with everyone else who's watching the football too. So that was one of my gratitudes. I'm going to go for three. I'd love you to go for three too. You can think about it, you can talk about your three gratitudes, uh, you can write your three gratitudes. Uh, my second Gratitude of the week is I'm trying every day to do something different. And yesterday I did that. I went on an electric scooter and I'll be honest, I was not very good. But I'm really grateful I did it. And I realised I prefer going on my bike. But anyway, I was so thinking it was going to be so easy to do. And I didn't scoot as a child. So I think that has a huge, you know, (laughs) impact (laughs) clearly I would need a lot more practice um, to do to actually scoot so I think I'm going to I prefer actually to stick to my bike I'm quite happy about it Um, my third gratitude of the week was um, the weekend and the week I think I will say watching some films I just it's really nice just to watch some films what about you Uh, what about work So whether you work or whether you're retired, um, perhaps you also perhaps you do charity work, whatever work you do, perhaps think of three gratitudes as well for your work. So work or retirement. So what three things are you grateful for? It's good to be specific. So three things I'm really grateful for in my work in the last week. I had a wonderful business meeting today, actually. I walked. I uh, had a telephone meeting and I walked to the woods. So rather than sat, you know, on Zoom in a meeting, it's given me such a better work-life balance by having walk and talk meetings. That's my first gratitude in my work. Um, my next gratitude in my work is to see the transformation of one of my mindfulness Pilates clients go from very anxious and stressed when I met them and now not showing, just showing signs of happiness now. <laughs> and um, she's showing no signs of anxiety at all now. Um, 
and they, they've got a toolbox that they can call upon and, and use regularly, you know, with the Pilates, with the meditation, relaxation. They use the Happy Kids cards for them and with their family, children and husbands and stuff. So that is really rewarding, actually, really rewarding this week. Um, my third gratitude in my work is that um, more and more children and mental health charities are what, interested in working with me. And my happy kids cards, I'm really grateful for that. What about you? What are your gratitudes? So next is how to go on a gratitude walk. Okay, so what you do, it's as simple as this. Go on a walk. And if you do take your mobile telephone with you, um, just have it, if possible, have it on silent and just put it away while you're on your walk. Or it, if, it may or may not be possible to leave your phone behind. So either put it away in your bag and don't get it out while you're on your walk unless you have really, really have to take a phone call. Uh, but ideally not. But you know what I'm saying. Um, or leave it at home. But it depends if you really do need to take your phone with you. Obviously do what's right for you. So the, the idea is you have a technology phone free walk and you're calling it a gratitude walk because the idea is when you go on your walk, the your focus is very much about thinking about what you're grateful for. So it can be, so I love going on a gratitude walk every morning. So, so the idea is, is that you look around you more, you see, hear, feel, or know more of what's going around you, on around you, and you're in the moment. And it's a chance either to, you know, feel, you know, just think to yourself, you know, well, I'm, I am grateful for this, I am grateful for that, and just being in that moment and like enjoying that fresh air, for example, or enjoying some birds singing, or enjoying the fact that you're you're getting some exercise. Or so for me today, and that is basically it. And on your gratitude walk as well, you think about what your intention is for the day. Personally, if it's a day off, just personally. If it's a it's personal and you've got work to do that day, then what's your intention for your day, personally and professionally, and how you're, what you're intending things to go, and that you're going to be grateful um, for those intentions that you've set. So if you find your mind wandering off, it can be quite good to do some sort of um, relaxing but focused breathing on a gratitude walk, such as I like doing breathing of in for four, out for four. Now that can be either in through your nose and out through your nose, or it can be in through your nose, out through your mouth. You don't have to do it the whole time, but you might want that focus on your gratitude walk and just really enjoy it. I've been doing this for a while now this year, every morning really. I uh, don't necessarily go very far, sometimes only around the block. But it's so different to being on the phone to somebody or having that distraction of technology, it, it really puts you in the moment. And also having that intention that you're going to think about things you're grateful for. So like for me today, the three of the things I was grateful for on that walk were my waterproofs and my umbrella. Because <laughs> um, uh, it was absolutely torrential here this morning in Dorset, uh, UK by the sea. It was ter really torrential rain. So I was really grateful for that. Um, I'm just really grateful for that lovely kind of crisp, rainy air, loved it. And I was just really grateful for the different colours of the greens and the trees, in particular one tree was a beautiful colour. So they were my gratitudes, some of my gratitudes on my walk this morning, and it really does enrich your life. So I hope you find that too. We're going to be going into meditation next. Now you can do the sitting or lying down with your eyes closed it's up to you really hope you enjoy this today. a big welcome to your gratitude meditation close your eyes sitting or lying down breathe and relax in through your nose out through your mouth relax just relaxing more and more on each out breath breathe and relax in through your nose out through your mouth relax and again, breathe and relax. So really enjoy your gratitude meditation time now. It's a chance to express a gratitude in your life right now. Just think of one thing that you're grateful and happy about right now. And 
and just express that gratitude to yourself as you breathe and relax. An attitude of gratitude goes a long way and you'll feel better the more you bring this focus into your life. Breathe and relax. A beautiful thing to do every day is to start and end your day the happy way with some gratitude. You can start every morning thinking of 10 things you are grateful for and equally before you go to sleep at night, think about another 10 things that you are grateful for. But for right here, right now, just think of one thing you are grateful for as you breathe and relax. This will enrich your life in so many ways, both personally and professionally. Breathe and relax. And you can say thank you for, you fill in the blank. Thank you for, and you fill in the blank. Thank you for, and you fill in the blank. One more thing, thank you for. Breathe and relax. On the next in breath, or you can yawn if you like, or deep breath in, or gentle breath in. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Slowly open your eyes, or if you want to stay in meditation longer, you can. Sending you lots and lots of love. How do you feel after today's gratitude meditation? Did you join in? How did you enjoy it? Really hope you did. And have you been on a gratitude walk yet, or do you feel inspired to? Pop along and, and see me on my social media. It's Beverly underscore Densham on Instagram, or Beverly Densham on Facebook. LinkedIn, etc. <laughs> um, let me know how you got on with your gratitude walk. Uh, even better, write it in a review what you how you got on with your your gratitude walk and how you enjoyed your gratitude meditation, how you enjoyed the podcast and give it five little stars would be amazing. And it's a really nice gift for a friend actually. You might want to gift this podcast perhaps to a friend this week. That would be lovely. Well I'm really I I enjoyed that meditation. Um, each time I said thank you, I was like, oh, thank you for my beautiful rose. Um, I've got some beautiful roses here. Oh my goodness, I was like, thank you for those roses. I was like, oh, thank you for my happy kids cards. I was like, thank you for the abundant, beautiful home and abundance of fruit and vegetables and food that we have every day. So just before we go today, let's just pick one more message of the day. So I'm just shuffling the Happy Kids cards at the moment, fanning them out. And then I'm going to pick a card just to help you come round. It's good to ground yourself, just basically wake up a bit more after relaxing, especially if you haven't had enough sleep or anything like that. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. It says, the card I've picked, is, there are two sleep cards in this deck. It says, I, and I picked one of the sleep ones. That's so funny, out of 52 cards. What are the odds of that? I sleep well. I love going to bed and getting lots of sleep for me. What does that mean to you today? So the fantastic thing with the cards is they, they give you a chance to voice how you feel, what the message means to you. You can write about that. You can talk about that with someone else. Um, for me, I didn't get enough sleep last night. I slept too late after the football and that really does affect me quite a lot actually. So I'm in real need of an early night and get my sleep pattern back to normal today. What about you? What does that mean to you? Generally, I do sleep really well. Um, so yeah, it's also really nice um, sleep affirmation as well. So it's like this sort of affirmation you can say to yourself before you go to sleep, I sleep well. I love going to bed and getting lots of sleep for me. Equally, if you have a child or children, you can say that to them in a lovely soothing voice at bedtime. You know, and sometimes they might be too tired to pick a card. So you can just pick a card for them and read it to them. And if it's a sleep one, you can say in a lovely soothing voice, I sleep well, I love going to bed and getting lots of sleep for me. So I really hope um, that helps. 
And I really hope you enjoyed this week's podcast and see you next week. And let's get going on those gratitude walks and may it bring more happiness, confidence and calm to your life this week and everyone and everything around you. Sending you lots of love. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Happy You, Happy Kids podcast. Please rate and review on your podcast platform. You can get your Happy Kids card on my website and you can also book your one-to-one angelic lifestyle coaching for Happy You, Happy Kids at beverlydenshin.com.